Yeah, let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 50, Ascend. In today's episode, we reflected another theme besides Ascend might be Renew. And we also discovered if you really want to know if you learned something, try reharmonizing it. Because we went to our Extract 1 and we experiment it with trying a different harmony on it. Here the original harmony in extract one sounded like this. And then we decided to say, hey, I wonder if we could change that to a C minor major harmony, which sounds like this. Which is pretty much the same. We did one chord swap here and then we ended up, and then we did a chord swap here, and then we rude our choice because later on we realized that chord is not in C2552. We were trying to get chords from C major minor diatonic that could fit in here. And why did we want to do that? Because we are also been updating our C minor major reference sheet. That's why this thing here. Recall that C minor major parallel scales have 10 total notes. They have a 7 minor note, 7 major notes, and you add them up and get 10, whereas our C2552 has 5 minor notes, 5 major notes, add them up and you get 8. It's music math. What can I say? See, 5 plus 4, 5 plus 5 equals 8, and on the other one, 7 plus 7 equals 10. That's how it works. So we discovered, however, that there were several key points where we needed a C major tonic with an F in it, and there aren't any. They're all, they are subdominants. We needed a C minor tonic with a D in it. All the chords that we could find were subdominant. And we needed a C major tonic with an A in it, and again, they were all subdominant. Along the way, we were reconfirming some of our extended music theory analysis about what is a dominant, what is a subdominant. However, in the meantime, we kind of like face palmed, face whatever you call it, on, on uh, successfully swapping chords here. Now, some of these other chords, we just kept them the way they are because they were both dominant in both tonalities, subdominant in both tonalities, no problem. But here we had a tonic and a subdominant, and that's why we were trying to find a C major tonic that had the A in it, and we did not. So we're wondering, we're wondering if we went back, if we went back and added to the uh, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 chords to our C major minor, might, might, might we be able to s solve that problem? We don't know, but that's on our list. What we are pleased at is that we significantly uh, updated this uh, this score, which hadn't been, we hadn't looked at it in, in eight months or so since our first stream. And um, we did get ahead and we, we, had, we knew we'd added the one ones and the two twos and the two threes and the three twos way back when, but they'd been kind of like hanging out down here in, um, not in the correct order. So we know, we know, because we went through, we know that we have a couple, like a four one and a one four and a 3-1, we know that we those exist because we uh, worked with them. There they are. Bang, boom, bing. So um, we want to go ahead and enumerate all the 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5s like we did, if you recall, a couple streams ago for the 3, 4, 4, 3 scale. So that's on our list. That says so. It says so right here. Right there. Add the 1, 2, 4s to the reference. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show what it looks like to see these waveforms for the 
C2552. And then we'll take us home. So here we go. So that concludes today's stream. We've already discussed our ideas for next time, uh, including working further with the animation. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Please do come back. And as always, keep on streaming.